Hello everybody and welcome to the No BS update video for my AIM custom gaming controller. Alright, so for those of you who haven't seen my initial video, this is going to be pretty much my final conclusions for this controller. I will leave a link to my initial review, but this is going to be my final findings and what I really think after using this controller. For those of you who aren't aware of the options that I ordered on it, here's what I ordered. I got these smart bumpers, right? And then I got paddles. That is it. There is no other custom stuff. And that's the whole reason people buy a custom gaming controller is to have those paddles, those extra triggers, and hopefully get some hair triggers, some quick pulls for their shooting buttons. And you can order these smart bumpers or smart triggers for your L2, R2, or for your L1, R1. So you can pick wherever you want those. So guys, here's the nitty gritty, okay? This is just what it is and what I found to be true of this controller. The smart bumpers aren't functional about a month in month and a half in of me having this controller these smart bumpers especially my fire trigger my shoot trigger r2 because i play a lot of first person gaming shooters just a lot of shooters period it was the first thing that went out it still works yes but say i'm holding down going full auto and shooting a gun it'll just stop randomly or if i'm trying to tap fire or burst fire a gun it would mess up or be inaccurate and just not function properly yes there was a short warranty for this controller this was around 100, 170 bucks i didn't order any of the extra like special camos or special grips or customizable button colors or, or colors on my joysticks. I didn't order any of that extra stuff, which would have made this well over a $200 controller. Who wants to pay that kind of money for a controller when your smart bumpers are going to crap out on me? That's just, that's garbage to me. So me personally, I would not recommend getting that. Now, on another note, I know this is completely conflicting, but the paddles on the back are the best paddles I have ever used. Me personally, I love them, especially compared to these scuff paddles that I have. These are better. They, they're just way more responsive and I don't feel like they're going to crap out or conk out any time. I feel like they're going to keep working for a really, really long time. In conclusion, buying this controller, do not buy hair triggers, do not buy trigger stops, do not buy these smart bumpers. Just don't do it with AIM controllers. The paddles, absolutely love them, guys. So that's just my findings. If you have any questions, please let me know below. I promised I would do an update video and here you go guys. For anyone who's new to my channel, I do do like review videos. I stream as well. So just if you want to support, hit the subscribe and the like button. I greatly appreciate it guys. And if you have any questions at all, I'm really good about answering them below in the comments section. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.